Hello healers! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I really appreciate you clicking in this video today. This is going to be a pick a card regarding what do you need to release today. You may or may not know what the area is that it's affecting you at the moment, affecting your life in many different ways. So if you know or not, that's no problem. This is really a guide from the higher powers, the above, to help you work on any area that you may need to release something. So I want you to concentrate. If you already know, think about that. If you don't, no problem. Just think about anything that you need to release to improve your life at the moment and concentrate on the card or the crystals. These are all amethyst crystals. All right, just different forms. This is the pyramid. This is a more polished form and this is a more rough one. We also have uh, an amethyst angel here and we are just surrounded by selenite crystals. I just wanted to make sure we all, we have uh, the purple, which is the releasing and, and healing color for the angels. All right. So I just want to, to concentrate. This is going to be group number one, two and three. So like I always say, go with your gut feeling. Your first choice is most likely the right one. But of course, you are free to watch the whole video or choose another one. I just wanted to make sure if you if it does resonate with you, if you can please leave a comment, let me know. I will be really happy to hear from you. Like always, the cards that I use and my details will be in the description below. This is quite general, but I hope it helps you out. If you really need something more specific, I do private readings as well. Okay. Again, group number one, two and three. Concentrate on a card or the crystal and make your choice. Thanks very much. Group number one, if you chose this beautiful pyramid amethyst, we leave it here to help us out. What do you need to release? What are the higher powers the universe telling you to release today? We have the sacral chakra here. I'm going to read the messages in a bit. We have vegetarian, vegan, integrity. We have the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and we have a beautiful message here, which I will read for you in a bit. All right, group number one, straight away, the Sacred Chakra here, the message is, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, addictives, processed food and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations and relationships. Wow, very clear here. It's telling you to release harsh situations, relationships and even food. All right, so you know what is going on at the moment. It doesn't mean that you need to avoid every single thing, but it's really to pay attention what are you surrounding yourself with. People, food, relationships, could be um, hard work as well, environment. Just look around you and what can you move away from? Maybe we can't just leave a job straight away, but we can make... Uh, better choices about who we want to spend our time with in that job. Are you around people that are just not bringing any positivity around you, gossip or anything like that? Just, you know, because you are working there, it doesn't mean you need to be around the people. This is just an example, right? If this is your case, if it's a relationship, if, you know, what can you do? to make that better or walk away. Sometimes we just need to make the hard choices as well. And it's really practical as well about food. It's really telling you pay attention to even the food you being you are sensitive right now. Maybe you're not always going to be this way, but right now it's for you to pay attention to your body, your mind. The vegetarian vegan card is here really com confirming that which is saying fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency 
interesting here this card coming together right so because this one is saying about the chemicals of the food or that kind of situation that you can avoid and uh, doesn't mean you need to become a vegetarian or vegan if you're not but it, it means to making better choices throughout your day of food and things that can help you out fresh organic food and vegetables you know if you can just add a little bit of that or have one day one vegetarian day during the week those kind of small steps can help you throughout your life and it can bring you a very positive attitude positive changes in your body and mind as well the food does affect our minds you know and we do have here the integrity card which is saying align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you I feel like this card is showing that you may already know or have a feeling that something is not really aligning with you and is not uh, helping you out but I feel like you already know or you have that feeling that something is wrong at the moment or you involved with the wrong people or places or even if it's just related to food specifically you have a feeling that you needed to, to change or you have been sick lately you know pay attention to that or maybe you have been sick quite often if you think about it how often have you been sick lately you know that kind of uh, situation is just giving you you know that red flag your body will reflect as well and it's just giving you a red flag as a signal for you to make a change and here it's really about what you need to release today and it's quite clear the harsh situations that are affecting your life relationships food situations very practical here if you want to add the food as well and change and this this knight of swords it's here to sh to show that you you can come cutting away what no longer serve you this is really coming together with the other cards as well showing that it's time to look around what no longer serve you and use that sword to cut away without any fear because you know it's gonna be a good outcome for you once you do that and this seven of cups is really showing all the choices you know to make to pay attention to your choices what are you choosing right now regarding like practical things like food and also the people who are around you friendship relationships make the right choices this is just showing that you have many choices it's just about making the right one and go with your integrity go with your inner feelings of what is right like i said you may already know you may already have that feeling inside you and if you're, you're a bit confused you don't know align with the higher powers ask for direction and it will be giving you this beautiful card here at the end is giving you an advice i do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness this is really about making the right choices making the hard choices sometimes but making the choice because you want to get closer to consciousness consciousness being we aligned with the higher powers being aligned with yourself i feel like you group number one you have a feeling already that you may not be on the right place or environment or let's say choosing the right uh, foods or that kind of thing like I said, I feel like you, because the integrity card is here, you may already have that inside you telling you that red flag, like I said, but maybe you didn't action on it. You just had the feeling and you just let it go. You're thinking that it will be fine, but it's affecting you. So right now the higher powers are telling you, do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness, to get closer to the higher powers, to your path, to the things you really want to do in life. because what no what is not serving you what doesn't help you really can affect you and in this case the cards are telling you it's affecting you so it's time to let go it's time to release this this strong harsh chemicals attitudes and um, environments that could be affecting you and in this case it's showing you here that it's really affecting you you have the choices here it's up to you you have the willpower it's up to you to make the right choices and i feel like if you listen to your inner wisdom you will actually know what to do 
And even if you need more help, like I say, align with the higher powers. Take the, the five minutes meditation time and just ask yourself, is this really serving you? Like I say, look back. Have you been uh, sick lately for, you know, many times in the last month? How are your relationships at work or home? What can be improved? What Some things can be improved and some other things you just need to let go completely and use that sword and cut away from your life. Okay? So, just remember you do have help from the higher powers. Don't feel like you're alone. You don't need to make the, these choices by yourself. Just This is just... Uh, uh, a guide for you to know that uh, something needs to be to be done about uh, these harsh situations in, situations in your life at the moment okay i hope it resonated with you in some way group number one and i hope you really do take some action here because it will really benefit you and you're gonna see the results really really clear okay if it did resonate please leave me a comment let me know i will be really happy to hear from you thanks very much for here for being here with me group number one thank you group number two if you chose this beautiful polished amethyst crystal we leave it right here to help us out what do you need to release today what are the higher powers the angels are telling you we have the cards here that i'm going to read the messages for you in a bit all right so we have cut your cords be willing to forgive Good box, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the beautiful message here for you that I will read in a bit. Lovely cards here for you. Group number two, straight away here, the angels are telling you the higher powers, cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that is steam from past relationships freeing you from destructive patterns. All right, so very clear here for you. It's really about releasing the fear from the past that you may be carrying with you and bringing you, you know, changing your relationships because of whatever happened with you in the past is coming back all the time to your new relationships with family, with uh, friends, with lovers. It doesn't matter when we have fear, attach it to things that have happened to us and the way we were hurt in the past and we don't let go, they continue affecting us in the present. And the be willing to forgive, it's here. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. Again, really, really connected these two cards here. Beautiful connection really telling you it's time to forgive. Forgive yourself in the first place and forgive others that could have hurt you in the past. And it's time to let go of the fears that actually carry on with you because you could have been hurt in the past. We, you know, we many times carry with us the pain, the fear, the, the regret, and we blame ourselves, we blame others. It's time to, to forgive. Like I always say, forgiving yourself is really releasing you from that prison. And it's time to release that fear. So the release here today is that fear. All right, it's quite clear. You can ask the higher powers here saying, Archangel Michael, but whatever you believe, you know, the universe, the higher powers, ask for help because it really, in this case here, yeah, I feel like it's affecting your present very very much your relationships like i say all kinds of relationships the way we bring fear the way we we carry with us sometimes just don't let us grow don't let us pass a certain point in our lives because we are so attached to the past this here is the good box is a very practical card write any worries concerns or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a good box as a way to letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Again, it's telling you how this is very practical and beautiful way to let go 
or even manifest good things into your life. When you write down the things you don't want anymore in your life, the things that no longer serve you, what you want to release, who you want to forgive, write it down and put in a box. Sometimes you may need it to burn that, that at some point. If you feel, however it helps you, you know, any practical way, it, it may feel silly for some of you at the time, but just do it anyway and just to see, just to see really the results will come and you will be surprised how affected it, it can be. And uh, if you are in pain and you need to release fear, why not try? You have nothing to lose just r about writing something down, adding it to a box and uh, releasing at some point of, like I say, burning or if they are the good things you want to manifest, add them there, add forgiveness there, add, add love, you know, it's just practical ways. The Eight of Cups is showing here, you know, someone is really time to, to walk away. You see here, the, the woman is walking away from the situation. It's really time to walk away from this fear. So what you need to release today is fear, any attachment to your past. Okay, like I say, any kind of relationship. It could be love, it could be family, friendship. It could be, you know, an ex-boss that fired you, you know, and you're really thinking about that over and over. Any, any area of your life. It's really time to walk away. Like this woman's doing here, leave this in the past. It's time to walk away and take a new journey. And in the Ace of Cups, it's really beautiful here showing you, you can really be honest and be available and be loving with all your emotions. It's showing here that the Ace of Cups is really a beautiful offer from the higher powers to you to have all that emotion clear and be able to communicate properly with others and be graceful with your words the this card here from the universe has your back i surrender to a power greater than me it's really a time to surrender this pain this fear because it's not helping you in anything it doesn't it doesn't bring you anywhere so it's quite clear here it's time to walk away be willing to forgive. There is a practical way of doing that as well. If you wanted to use that, it's quite useful and uh, you know effect effective as well. You may not believe at the time, but do it anyway. Like I said, you have nothing to lose, so why not? You know, and um, it it can be really manifested here for you something good because the Ace of Cups is here showing you that this. This healing is possible. This is a really beautiful card. It's it's possible for you to walk away from this, like this card here, and ask for the higher powers to help you. It may be, I feel a bit hard for some of you. It may be something that's going on for a while. But don't be afraid. It's really about asking, you know, whatever you believe, the higher powers, Archangel Michael, the angels are there for you. If you ask, they will be helping you. You see here, ask the angels, you know, to clear your mind and your body, you know, for the past pain in exchange of, of, of peacefulness. You know, imagine that peace coming to you when you release, when maybe you write the, the words in the box. There is a real reason for this and the real reason for you to have chosen this pile. There is something really holding you back at the moment, but it can be released. All right? It's not it's never too late. Okay? It's not uh, impossible. It it may feel impossible sometimes, so depending on how hard it was, your you know how hurt you were in the past, how bad someone made you feel. But the forgiveness is not just forgiving the other person. It's really about releasing yourself, like I said, from a prison. That can be that fear from the past. And not letting anything, you know, carry on with you in new relationships. So many other doors can open for you. Once you release, once you, you forgive, other doors that you may not even 
imagine that would be there or could be there at all for you will be will be opening and you will be surprised with so many good things that can come to you after that it's just taking that first step that leap of faith sometimes it's hard to get but if you chose this it's for a reason okay if you chose this today it's time to let go and embrace the new beginning for you embrace this journey here that can bring you in a much more peaceful time of your life okay and surrender to a power greater than me surrender now this fear anything that had happened to you in the past and you will and you can be and you deserve to be much more happy and peaceful than this situation could have brought you so far okay group number two i hope it resonated with you in some way i hope this is helpful i feel like it may help some of you if it didn't resonate like i say click on other cards but i feel like it will be helpful for some of you this is something some of you really really need to release at the moment okay thanks very much if you made it so far leave me a comment if it did help you in any way i will be really happy to hear from you okay thanks very much for being here with me so far thank you bye bye group number three if you chose this beautiful rough amethyst stone i'll leave it here to help us out so what do you need to release today here are the higher powers they are both choosing these cards for you okay we have cancel clear delete i'm gonna read the message in a bit for you base chakra manifestation power we have the king of wands the two of cups and this beautiful message affirmation here from i will read for you in a bit all right group number three straight away here the cancel clear and delete what do you need to release use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative negative thinking right it's quite clear here group number three it's time to release any words or thoughts that are negative from your from your life right now and they don't help you out because the good things manifest good things and the bad ones will manifest the bad ones so the words the thought will be manifesting whether they are good or bad they will just manifest so if it's telling you here to you know release the negative past thinking it's because that this is what we needed to do today so it's really about your words your thoughts that didn't help you out so far we have the base chakra here choose only positive thoughts to describe your home career and finances as your words determine your outcome wow very very connected here the two again telling you choose the positive thoughts you know to describe how are you describing yourself your home your life your career are you putting yourself down maybe as a joke maybe as a funny thing but in reality you're bringing that to yourself how how is that affecting you the way you speak about yourself maybe not to others maybe maybe just in front of the mirror when you are talking to yourself or thinking because this is, these are words and thoughts to be released all right so think about that really interesting here the manifestation power card here is telling you use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome this is really interesting because we may want one thing but we think and we and we speak like completely the opposite way but we expect something good to manifest but if you're using thoughts and words that are really negative and bringing us down maybe bringing others down maybe bringing the other ones around us down we want someone in our lives to be nice to us but we only use bad words towards them all of that will affect it's just a you know it's a snowball effect you start with one small thing and then you'll just you can just grow and grow and then what you're manifesting you're manifesting the opposite of what you want 
And this card here is to remind us that manifestation powers here is is really powerful. What you can do. So once you change, once you change the words into positive, release them and ask, you know, the higher powers, angels, for positive thoughts and words. The manifestation power is really big. And you can manifest all the good things you want. And the King of Wands is here showing you that go go for your pa for your passion, for the things you really want. You you can manifest the things you really love and you need to be really true to yourself. What do you really like? What do you really want to do? Why are you using the wrong or completely opposite words of what you want? You know, just pay attention to your, your dreams, your passions, the things you love about your life, the things you want to, to manifest into your life. And use those words. Go for those beautiful thoughts of what you want. And this this two of cups is showing here beautiful connection, which is really possible for you. The cups are about the emotions and the way to express them properly. So this is about a, a beautiful connection that is possible for some of you love, but for some of you just you know relationships in general. This is just a connection. It could even be a career connection. But it depends on how you will manifest this. Through your words, your, your powerful words, your powerful thoughts. And here the message, my vibes speak louder than my words. So again, many times the, the way we think, the vibes, the, the thoughts we are having are even louder than the words. So, like I said, you could be speaking in a funny way, like a joke, but how is this really affecting you when in, inside your mind you're thinking, you know, that negative thing or situation about yourself, or even like I say, about others, but we're expecting them to be nice to us or to change or be in a positive frame of mind when we are manifesting the completely opposite so what you need to release today, group number three, is really the thoughts and words that are completely opposite. They are negative of w related to what you want, really regarding to your passions, to what you want to manifest in your life. They're really not helping you at all and they are completely opposite of what you want. If you are using those words, pay attention. Maybe, like I said, it's a funny joke or it's a, something that you think it doesn't affect you at all or it's you know it's it's just a simple word but how many times do we use these bad words into our lives how many times regarding other people regarding our kids regarding our loved ones you know it can be really serious when you look around and say what have you manifested so far but don't be afraid it's never too late to to fix that and once you change it can be really fast to see the results as well because the manifestation power is really, really strong and your vibes speak louder than your words. So think the good things regarding other people. Think the, the positive outcomes you want into your life, into all the areas of your life and they can manifest. They are really powerful. Ask for help from the higher powers, the above, the angels, whatever you want to call if you need it to like just remind yourself every time you say something negative what can you do to change that have like you know that uh, awareness pay attention to yourself to what you're doing and you can change this in a beautiful beautiful way and i can see the results the manifestation power like i say you can bring so many positivity and uh, regarding your dreams and your passion, it can really come to life. Depends of you. Okay, so group number three. I hope it resonated with you in some way. I hope you can pay attention to the words you're using, the thoughts you're having. And if they are opposite of what you actually want, just slowly change them. Alright, sometimes it's hard to change habits. But just 
try slowly and you will see the results changing and coming quite fast towards you all right i hope it resonated in some way if it did please leave me a comment i will be really happy to hear from you but if you made it so far thanks very much for being here with me okay thank you